He is known for serving with distinction in both World War I and World War II as a senior United States Army officer. He is recognized for commanding the 9th United States Army in Northwest Europe during World War II. His name is William Hood Simpson. In the annals of military history, one name stands out, General William Hood Simpson, a legendary figure who played a pivotal role in both World War I and World War II. Born in 1888, Simpson's journey to becoming a distinguished military officer began at the United States Military Academy at West Point. Despite ranking near the bottom of his class, Simpson's dedication and tenacity propelled him to incredible heights. He served in the Philippines, where he helped suppress the Moro Rebellion, and in Mexico during the Pancho Villa Expedition. Simpson's true test came during World War I, where he saw active service in the Musargon Offensive and was awarded the Army Distinguished Service Medal and Silver Citation Star. His leadership and bravery on the Western Front set the stage for his future accomplishments. After the end of World War I, Simpson continued to excel in his military career. He attended prestigious institutions like the Command and General Staff College and the Army War College, honing his strategic and tactical skills. Simpson's expertise led him to command various divisions and corps during World War II, including the 9th Infantry Regiment, the 30th Infantry Division, and the 12th Corps. However, it was his role as the commanding general of the 9th United States Army that truly solidified his legacy. Leading his troops in the assault on Brest and the advance to the Ruhr River, Simpson's leadership was put to the test during the Battle of the Bulge when his 9th Army came under the command of Field Marshal Bernard Montgomery's Anglo-Canadian 21st Army Group. Despite the challenges, Simpson's 9th Army played a crucial role in Operation Grenade and Operation Plunder, ultimately reaching the Elba. His strategic brilliance and unwavering determination led to the complete encirclement of the Ruhr. After the war, Simpson continued to serve his country, commanding the 2nd United States Army and working in the office of the Chief of Staff. He retired from the Army in 1946, but his impact and influence were far from over. Simpson settled in San Antonio, Texas, and became a respected member of the community. He served on the board of directors of the Alamo National Bank and the Chamber of Commerce of San Antonio, carrying his leadership skills into the civilian world. General William Hood Simpson passed away on August 15, 1980, leaving behind a legacy of military brilliance, unwavering dedication, and remarkable leadership. His contributions to the field of military and his commitment to serving his country will forever be remembered. In the midst of World War II, William Simpson, known as Bill to his comrades, found himself commanding various infantry regiments and divisions, showcasing his leadership skills and strategic acumen. After being appointed as the commander of the 9th Infantry Regiment in Texas in 1940, Simpson quickly rose through the ranks, eventually becoming a major general. His experience and expertise earned him command of the 35th Infantry Division at Camp Robinson, Arkansas, and later the 30th Infantry Division at Fort Jackson, South Carolina. But Simpson's most significant role came when he took command of the newly created 12th Corps on August 31, 1942. As the leader of the 12th Corps, Simpson played a crucial part in the war effort, overseeing and coordinating multiple divisions and units. His ability to strategize and make tough decisions made him a respected figure among his peers. In September 1943, Simpson was promoted to lieutenant general and given command of the 4th United States Army. Leading this army, he was responsible for training and preparing soldiers for combat. Simpson's leadership skills shone as he successfully organized and commanded the 4th Army, which eventually split into a training army and the 8th Army, deployed overseas. Simpson's journey took a pivotal turn when he was chosen to lead the newly designated 9th United States Army. Tasked with coordinating with General Dwight D. Eisenhower and the British 8th Army, Simpson's role was crucial in the invasion of Normandy. With his headquarters landing in France and taking over command of the U.S. forces in Brittany, Simpson's leadership was crucial in capturing the city of Brest. As the 9th Army continued its advance into Germany, Simpson faced the challenge of the heavily fortified Siegfried Line. With careful planning and collaboration with the 21st Army Group, Simpson's 9th Army launched an offensive that led to the capture of key positions and territories, albeit falling short of crossing the Rhine. Simpson's strategic thinking and ability to work with Allied forces proved instrumental in the Allied advance. William Simpson's military achievements during World War II showcased his leadership abilities, strategic thinking, and dedication to the war effort. From commanding infantry regiments and divisions to leading armies in major operations, Simpson played a crucial role in the success of the Allied forces. His contributions to the war effort will always be remembered and celebrated. Do you want to explore more politician or military strategist? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.